Hey guys, it's Kiara from Kiara Soleil, and today I'm going to bring you guys my bookshelf tour. I haven't done a bookshelf tour in about a year, but this is my bookshelf tour for the beginning of 2015, and I have collected a lot of books since the last time I have made a bookshelf tour. If you guys want to compare them, I will link my previous bookshelf tour in the down bar. I have four bookshelves, three of which that you can see behind me. I cannot find my tripod, so I had to film it with my hands, so if it is shaky, I apologize for that. Here we go, let's get started with the bookshelf tour. So here's the first shelf I will be showing you. I got this shelf from Ikea about a year ago for Christmas, and yeah, this is basically the bookshelf I filmed in front of, which you guys all know. Alright, so we have The Darkest Minds, Never Fade, and In the Afterlight, all by Alexandra Bracken. Then we have Cinder. Scarlet and Cress, all by Marissa Meyer. Then we have The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mocking Jay, all by Suzanne Collins. Here we have Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, Fangirl, also by Rainbow Rowell. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Love Letters to the Dead by Eva Delara. The Truth About Alice by Jennifer Matu. This Song Will Save Your Life by Lila Sales. And Anna, Lola, and Isla, all by Stephanie Perkins. This shelf has all my Cassandra Clare books, and I'm not going to be pulling each one out individually because I'm pretty sure you guys know what they look like. But here is the Mortal Instruments series, and this is the Infernal Devices series, and this is the Bane Chronicles, Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin Rising, all by Lee Bardugo. Bardugo, sorry. <laughs> We have The Ask Him an Answer and Monsters of Men, all by Patrick Ness. Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, and The Assassin's Blade, all by Sarah J. Moss. Now I am using my mini tripod on a stack of books to show you this shelf. Here we have the program and the treatment, both by Suzanne Young. Stitching Snow by R.C. Lewis. These ones are just packed so tightly. Here we have Parallel by Lauren Miller. Splintered and Unhinged, both by A.G. Howard. The Archived, The Unbound, Vicious, and The Near Witch, all by Victoria Schwab. And Mystic City by Theo Lawrence. This shelf consists of my paperback contemporaries, and it is very hard to get a book out of here. I'm not even going to try to show you each individual one, but I will read the title of each one. Hopeless, Finding Cinderella, Losing Hope, Ugly Love, Maybe Someday, Slammed, Point of Retreat, and This Girl, all of them are by Colleen Hoover. This is Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews, Every Day by David Levithan, Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan, If I Stay and Where She Went, both by Gail Foreman, and Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. This is the bookshelf dedicated to Rick Riordan, and I'm not going to pull out these stack of books because it's hard to put them back. Here we have the Red Pyramid and the Throne of Fire, and these are a part of the King Chronicles series. Then we have the Lost Hero, the Son of Neptune, the Mark of Athena, the House of Hades, and the Blood of Olympus, all a part of the Heroes of Olympus series. Then we have the Percy Jackson series, and we have the Lightning Thief, the Sea of Monsters, the Battle of the Labyrinth, the Titan's Curse, and the Last Olympian. Here's a one book I do not keep on the Percy Jackson shelf, but it hides my Twilight books, which are behind here. We have Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn, all by Stephanie Meyer. Here is the Twilight Companion novel by Lois H. Grush. Here is Dangerous Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. This is Wonder by R.J. Palacio. 
here we have the Across the Universe trilogy, and none of these covers match, but that's okay because they're kind of hidden. The first one is Across the Universe, and then A Million Suns, and Shades of Earth, all by Beth Revis. Then we have The Morrow's Secret by Susan McNally. On the top of the bookshelf, we have Eon by Alison Goodman, Just One Day by Gail Foreman, and the UK editions of the Mistborn series, which consist of The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, The Hero of Ages, all by Brandon Sanderson. Here we have my mass paperback covers and they are all fantasy books. Here is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, and here is the Song of Ice and Fire series, all by George R. R. Martin, A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, A Feast for Crows, and A Dance with Dragons. Here is my smaller version of the previous shelf, which I also got from Ikea. This shelf I don't really care much about because it's kind of in the corner of my room and no one can see it. This is actually my Kindle. This is ink by Amanda Sun, and The Diviners by Libba Bray, These Broken Stars by Amy Coffin and Megan Spooner, Monument 14 and Monument 14, Sky on Fire, both by Emmy Laybourne, Of Poseidon by Anna Banks, The Sea of Tranquility by Katia Malay, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer and The Evolution of Mara Dyer, both by Michelle Hawkins, the Edge of Never by J.A. Redmersky, Love and Misadventure, and Lullabies, both by Ling Leave, Guns, Germs, and Steel by Jerry Diamond. Here is another shelf I'm going to show you, which is by the first shelf, and near the last shelf I will show you. All right, let's just get started. Oh, should I turn on the fairy lights up here too? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Here we have my Maria V. Schneider collection, which I'm not going to take out because all the books would collapse. <laughs> we have Poison Study, Magic Study, Fire Study, Sea Glass, and Storm Glass. Here we have my Harry Potter series, and I'm not going to go through and pull out each book, but we have The Sorcerer's Stone, The Chamber of Secrets, The Prisoner of Azkaban, The Goblet of Fire, The Order of the Phoenix, and The Half-Blood Prince, and The Deathly Hallows. I also have in my possession part of the Hogwarts Library, which is Quidditch for the Ages, and the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And this is my little bookshelf thing in this little cute little bucket. Then I have a Harry Potter journal, and this is Septimus Heap Magical Papers. Now we're getting on to more popular YA books. We have Eyes Like Stars and So Silver Bright. These covers are really pretty. They're both by Lisa Mancha. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and Hollow City, both by Ransom Riggs. And we have The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. Talon by Julie Kagawa. Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. Half Bad by Sally Green. Counting by Sevens by Holly Goldberg Sloan. Winter Girls by Lori Hulse Anderson. Broken Hearts, Fences, and Other Things to Mend by Katie Finn. The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. Then we have these little Lego figures. This is of a dolphin, and this is a triton. My True Love Gave to Me by all these fabulous authors, and this was edited by Stephanie Perkins. The Indigo Spell by Rochelle Mead. Far, Far Away by Tom McNeil. The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Here are some duplicate copies of books I have already shown you. This is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. This is An Arc of Crests by Marissa Meyer. This is my paperback version of Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. Then we have two Julie Kagawa books, The Immortal Rules and The Eternity Cure. The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. The Goddess Tess and The Goddess Legacy, both by Amy Carter. And here we have some books, which I'm not going to take out individually. We have The Fifth Wave, The Warlock, The Necromancer, The Sorceress, The Alchemist, and The Magician, all 
in the Alchemist series, The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel, all by Michael Scott. The book that will make you love books by Francois Boucher. I don't know how to pronounce this, it's kind of French. Sorry if I butchered the name. This is A Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli and The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. Now we're on to this final shelf and I'm not going to be pulling out individual books because I can barely even see the camera screen because I'm currently on this chair because it's really high. Up. So here we have some books. The Thirteenth Child by Catherine Reed. The Seven Sorcerers by Something King. I don't know who the author is. The Will of the Empress, The Trickster's Choice and Trickster's Twe Queen, all by Tamara Pierce. The Wizard's Heir by Cinda Williams Chima. Earth Girl by Janet Edwards. Side Effects May Vary by Jane Murphy. The Looking for Alaska by John Green. Tiger Lily by Jody Anderson. Out of My Mind by Sharon M. Draper. The Maximum Ride series by James Patterson. We have The Angel Experiment, Saving the World and Other Extreme Sports. The Final Warning, Max and Thing. And then Here is another stack of books. Here is The Magic Keepers. I don't know what the author is. This is Savvy by Ingrid Law. <clears throat> then we have the Golden Compass series, The Golden Compass, The Amber Spyglass, and The Subtle Knife by Philip Pullman, I believe his name is. The Time series? I don't really know the name of it, but this is The Swiftly Tilting Planet. I can't see that title. I am currently on my tippy toes because this shelf is too freaking tall. Thank God we're on the last part of this bookshelf tour. We have The Compound and the Fall by S.A. Bodine, Cleopatra's Moon by Catherine something. I'm not really sure what, who the author of this one is. This is Tumble and Fall by Alexander Kuntz. <clears throat> the Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. Gone and Hunger by Michael Grant. The Naming and the Riddle by Alison Krogan. Then we have The Kitchen Princess number five and card captor sakura both mangas then we have the dark visions um by lj smith for princess academy by sharon hale i think i'm not sure and um, the haiti big sky by kirby larson then we have some classics the wizard of oz the secret garden and alice's adventures in wonderland Thank you guys so much for watching through the whole bookshelf tour. I had trouble with filming the top part of it. It was extremely difficult. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Count, tell me down in the comments if you have any questions about some of the books or if you've read any of them or you found any of them interesting. And yeah, until the next time I see y'all, happy reading!